What's going on, Pachi? We're back for week two of the CBDL. And uh, as you can see, I've got a fresh shave cut. Definitely needed it. Uh, Katie, my girlfriend, she did kind of like tell me off a bit because it started getting to the point where, you know, I started like metamorphosizing into some sort of like bear that was in some sort of hibernation, you know, winter coming up and all that. So definitely had to get that out of the way. Um, feel a bit more clean and fresh now. But anyways, um, this week we are up against Brayden and uh, he's the coach of the Empire City Empoleons. Um, we're currently, oh, spoiler alert, of course, we are currently one and uh, one nil, a uh, nil, nil, nil. 1-0 and um, uh, Brayden I believe at this point he's 0-1 uh, so we'll see uh, records don't matter at all it's all about how we play in this matchup because no matter what it is any opponent we go up against even if they have like the best or the worst record we have to take them um, you know like, basically equal we have to see them in an equal way we're gonna try do the best we can to actually like you know beat them and get the win but yeah, so, um, uh, we'll just go straight into the team that I brought for today. Um, we have Landotherian, Galvantula, Mega Medicham, Uxi, Comfy, and Volcarona. And as you can see on the top right, my opponent is, or uh, well, basically the, my opponent's team roster consists of Raquanid, Celestila, Fadridus, Cryogenal, Megadiancy, Digisby, Gudra, Houndoom, Curem, Vileplume, and Zera Aura. So, a couple of threats. Um, going into this matchup, I thought there, there are a couple of things that are going to be quite worrying. Um, but at this point, I'm not sure if my opponent had Megadiancy. Give me one hot moment. It does seem... That, okay, so obviously because I'm recording now, quite a few weeks after this match actually happened, um, there have been some trades that have gone on, unfortunately. So that is not a Mega Diancy, that is a standard Diancy. Um, and my opponent's Mega at the time was a Mega Delayed. Uh, we will see which six uh, Pokemon, you know, come to the matchup, um, but at this point, it's not a Mega Diancy, it's a normal Diancy, and there is a Mega Delayed instead. But yeah, so apologies for that. Um, I do really wish that I could have recorded this at the time during the progress. I will definitely improve on that. I do apologize once again. But yeah, we'll just go into the actual team analysis of the mods that I had planned for them. So we got Lando, um, Choice Craft, because it's just really good, really offensive. Um, very oppressive for my opponent to deal with. We've got Earthquake, Stone Edge, Default, U-Turn. Uh, we've got enough speed investment so we can try to outspeed his Zero Aura, uh, even at max timid speed, whatnot. And we've got 252 attack, which is lovely. Put a bit more bulk on it in case of the, I think at the time it was the Mega Delayed. I don't survive an Araquanid liquidation. Um, I don't think even with minus one for it because it just hits that hard, Araquanid. But um, either way, we just put a bit more bulk on it because we thought, why not? Um, I thought, why not? But yeah, so moving on to the next one. Because we've got enough. You know Lando. Lando's a Lando. Lando's solid. Solid. It's got U turn for pivoting as well and everything. We've got Galvantula uh, next. Uh, Focus Sash. Uh, because of compound eyes, it does make thunder. 97% accurate, I think. Let me just double check. 1.3 70. That should be 97. Let me just. Where's the calculator at? Calculator, calculator, where you at? All right. 70, all the way through. 91. Look at me go. Anyways, yes, so I clearly got it right. 91%. That's what I said from the beginning. Um, yeah, so we've got Thunder, Bud Buzz, Digi Drain, and Sticky Whip. Digi Drain, I. Let me see what it was for. I feel like there was another change. I think that my opponent might have had a Gastrodon, which is why I had the Digi Drain, because I don't see why I have Digi Drain except of a Digisby. It's probably the Digisby. You never know. It probably was B. Uh, was B the Digisby. Um, yeah, so we got Data Drain just 
in case a ground type move comes in and all that. Even though I think Bud Buzz would still do a lot of damage on it. Because it's not the most bulky and special defense, they just be. Um, and we've got Sticky Web. So we just try to set up our webs. And if we can do that, and my opponent doesn't defog it or rapid spin it away, then Mega Metacham does a lot of damage to my opponent's team. 100%. It just, it's just so vicious if you set it up in the right position. Um, but yeah, so that's Galvantula. We've got uh, Timid Max Speed. Just because, you know, we want to make sure we in we outspeed any base stats equal or a bit less um, with enough damage, you know, 252. Pretty standard set, pretty standard. Um, next, we have Mega Metacham. Mega Metacham, right. Mega Metacham, as you can see, is... <laughs> I've got a Substitute, Drain Punch, Zen Headbutt, and Bolt Cup. So I went with this set um, just because I felt like... If I'm able to get my webs up, I'm able to put out any toxic pressure to just uh, negate it with the substitute. And if I can get a bulk up as well, it's going to be even more vicious. I don't need anything other than the fighting and psychic type stabs at this point, just because it deals a lot of damage. Uh, and also, in case the Crawford Regress comes in, we can set up a bulk up and still do a lot of damage to it. Not as much as pure power, unless I do get to plus two, but it guarantees a lot of damage and, you know, it negates... It, it makes Metacham a bit more bulky on the defensive side too. Um, I do believe the speed is to outspeed base 95s, um, which my opponent has a couple, has two, and then he's got a Gudra 80 and all that. So that's fine. It's enough speed. Um, I didn't opt for Fake Out this time. Could have been handy against the Zero Aura because it's so frail. But we just thought, why not? We'll go for it and all that. And we've got 252 Classic in the attack too. So I think that's sorted. As long as we get it into the right position, it's going to be able to sweep 100%. And Drain Punch is there to try to keep it on the field more often, especially with Bolt Up. Um, next, we have Uchi. And Utsi has knockoff, toxic, stealth rock, and U-turn, lefties. Um, it's just really good to try to knock off, get rid of any item that my opponent has on his mons that he really finds valuable, like a band, like a scarf, like leftovers, anything like that. Um, toxic, because toxic is toxic. Rocks, so we just try to get our rocks up, and U-turn just for the pivoting potential, just like kind of Lando and all that. Um, in case, let's say, for example, a Digger's B comes in and we don't want to risk a Lando switch in because maybe Digger's B has something like Ice Punch or some sort of Ice Move and uh, we want to switch in with Oopsie because it can take it and it's quite bulky as well, so it's pretty good. It's 140 um, stat investment and plus it's, uh, it's a positive nature towards defense too, so that's pretty, it's pretty solid, pretty solid. Um, next, we have Comfy. Comfy is Life Orb, Draining Kiss, Giga Drain, Calm Mind, and Hidden Power Electric. The Electric is there for the Araquanid, as you would have guessed. Um, I'm not sure if my opponent would be expecting it or not. Araquanid is quite bulky, naturally, in its special defense too. So if we're able to get a Calm Mind up, we are going to be able to start away, start chunting away at it, to be fair. Um, Giga Drain is lovely against Digger's B, for example, because it's priority still, so Giga Drain is awesome. Drain and Kiss is there to do Drain and Kiss things, so it's very good against the Mega Delayed, which should be there, and it says Mega Deancy. Um, it's good against the Gudra, it's good against the Qrem, so we've got options, and it's good against Zero Aura as well, because it's Stab and Zero Aura isn't the bulkiest of Mons, it's, it's quite frail. But yeah, so, um... Pretty standard, uh, 252 modest, 252 speed, I don't know why I went for the speed this time. You see, this is one of, this is where I'm thinking, oh, I'm a bit of a noob, aren't I? <laughs> Only because I don't see why I put the speed, there must have been a reason. I don't know. I, w I would have definitely have put it in bulk, like my mind now, but that's a strange one. We'll just leave it to strange past Gruster. Strange man, what's he doing? Anyways. And finally, we've got Voltorona. Voltorona, once again standard. As you can see, I'm, I'm kind of going standard. It's just like, if I feel that I need to get a tech out, 
I will do it. But if I feel that standard is gonna kind of get me going, then I'm probably gonna go for that. Um, Bud Buzz, Fiery Dance, Substitute, and Quiver Dance. I don't think I've ever used Fire Blast. Um, Fiery Dance, just getting the plus one potential of the 50%, It's just, and it's a 100% accurate move, just appeals so much to me. And um, if, especially if I'm able to have like a Quiver Dance already off, just for the speed uh, reasons. So we've got Modest, 228 investment. Um, 188 investment in speed. I do believe that probably guarantees outspeeding 95 base stats potentially and if not I'm able to get a quiver dance up if I am able to of course and outspeed them most definitely um, Got the substitute just so we could try to keep full corona a bit uh, longer on the field um, Just in case you know like we've got an offensive uh, oppressive Pokemon on my opponent's side that can guarantee you know take out Volcarona like an Araquanid or something like that and we try to put the pressure on maybe uh, get a Quiver Dance or something like that up or get any chip damage on it and then swap it out next turn but yeah so um, that is the team for today um, uh, I am gonna leave you to future Drosta which is probably gonna go ahead and get into the battle of course it's postcom I do apologize it's probably gonna be postcom for a lot of matches because I have not prepared uh, I have not prepared, and that's my fault. Um, getting the live cam. I have a capture card. Sword and Shield's gonna come out soon. You know, it's irritating the hell out of me. I'm not gonna lie that I haven't been actually using my capture card. But hey ho, you know, can't do anything about it at the minute. Just gonna work with what I've got. Um, but yeah, so I'll catch you guys in a hot second. So everyone, we are back, and um, uh, we're gonna get into the battle right now. So as we can see from the lineup. Um, we obviously bring the Lando first as lead. Um, Brayden goes ahead and brings Araquanid, Celestila, Diancy, not Medra, uh, Zero Aura, Cryogonal, and Cofagridus. Uh, Kof Damn it, I always get mixed up with that name. Cofagridus. Yeah, so, um, uh, just gonna get into the battle real quick. And let's see how it goes down. So, feeling a bit, I don't know. The uh, mixed feelings about the lead, seeing the Araquanid straight off the bat. Um, both good and bad. Good that we get an Intimidate off on the Araquanid. Bad that if we go for a Stone Edge and we miss it, very vital. Um, uh, and they might just go for the straight attack. But we instead opt for a U turn in preparation, you know, in expectation of a Sticky Web. So we can bring in Al Galvantula and try to get our sticky webs up, but at the same time threaten Araquanid with a thunder. Um, uh, Araquanid goes ahead and liquidates. Damages my Galvantula by a lot. Um, we see Brayden swap out, I think expecting the thunder move for Zero Aura to absorb, but we just go ahead and opt for a sticky web so we can try to get um, uh, Medicham, Mega Medicham in a better position. Uh, so my opponent goes ahead and swaps out the Zero Aura, brings in the Cryogonal. Cryogonal is infamous uh, has, uh, with using Rapid Spin and uh, we opt out for the Uxi to try to either defog, not defog, but I think we're going to try to get our rocks up. So we go ahead and we see the Cryogonal um, uh, Rapid Spin, get rid of the Sticky Web. We go ahead and knock off and we do actually knock off a Choice Staff that it reveals too. Um, Uxi is 100% health, that's good. I'm thinking now, well, if you want to stay in and we want to play the game of chicken, um, I don't mind because I'm just going to try to set up my rocks, my stealth rocks, which puts me in a good position because if Cryogonal comes in now, it does get 25% off of its health because it's super effective uh, rock against ice. We stay in with Uxi and we go ahead and we knock off the Celestila's leftovers and left and Celestila in return goes ahead and rock slides. Minimal damage, Uxi's a boss. Um, as we did see that uh, we're very uh, defensively built, so we don't mind that. We're just going to go ahead and U-turn. Um, at this point, probably going to U-turn into Volcarona or not? No, uh, Lando. So we're going to try to get the... Minus one attack on the Celesteela, whilst my opponent goes ahead and heavy slams. Good shout, because that is going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, that does a lot, even at minus one. Good chip damage. Um, my opponent goes ahead and protects. 
potentially scouting for the move I use, as he's probably expecting it being Scarf. We don't mind that, we're in a pretty good position at the minute. Um, so we just go ahead and we stick to our guns, U-turn, because it doesn't change anything and all that. It's just about expect, trying to think what my opponent's going to go for, expecting us to U-turn. So we go ahead and we swap into the Volcarona. We don't mind that because it's at minus one. Uh, we resist it. We take a lot of damage. Yeah, I was going to say, that, that's a critical hit. That, that was a lot of damage. I did not expect that. But we do get fortunate enough to get a Flame Body off the 30%. Uh, kicking in for the physical contact moves onto Volk. Um, I think I was anticipating a Protect for me to be going for the Z move at this point, just so we could try to get enough chip damage to ensure a Fiery Dance taking it out. Um, my opponent doesn't opt for Protect, just stays in, so we're just going to get that Celestila knocked out. Uh, Volcarona doing its job, doing its thing, doing its thing. Um, what do we have? We have a Raconid, okay, so we've got a couple of options here. Um, thankfully the uh, Stealth Rocks do really come in handy. At this point I'm thinking you're either going to set up Sticky Webs or you're going to attack. So I set up a Substitute, and the Substitute is, I think at this point, the calc is, if I could get a Quiver Dance up now, which I do try to go ahead and get, um, plus one Bug Buzz should be able to get the Araquanid at 50%, uh, depending on its investment, of course. So, Braden's gonna go ahead and use Liquidation, get rid of my Substitute. Alright, get rid of that. Let's see. So we're just gonna try to hope that Bug Buzz is able to do the job. Will it do the job? Ah, get in! Right, rock on. Okay, that's really good, because we've got a plus one Volt at this moment. We took out the Araquanid, which is really good. Um... At this point, we're all excited and this and that with how the match is going, right? Okay. I'm just gonna play it so you could so you could check it out as well. Notice the difference. Is there something wrong? Is there something wrong between my opponent's Pokemon and my own? Yeah. So at this point, um, I do have to say I unfortunately chose the wrong rule set. Um, I chose the wrong rule set, and I do apologize to Brayden once again. Um, instead of setting normal rules, I went ahead and I set some crazy bizarre one, which allowed whatever level Pokemon you have to exist and be. So, my opponent, uh, my Pokemon, my Pokemon, sorry, uh, level 100. My opponent's Pokemon right now, the Cuffer Judas, is level 50, so... Yeah, at this point, I think whilst I was playing, I didn't actually notice the level 50, and I was just willing to sack my Volcarona, um, just to take whatever damage, as long as I could get damage off on my opponent's Um Yeah, I'm sorry, Brayden. Uh, we, we were spoke, uh, speaking about this as well during the match too, and um, I was willing, I was more than willing to rematch up until this point. I didn't mind at all. I said, listen, we're just going to repeat the whole thing. Uh, I've got it written down, the turns and everything. So don't worry about it. We'll just try to get cracking and, you know, or we could even leave it to another time or whatnot. If you can't right now, if you w didn't have any time or something like that, if he was busy. Um, he did end up being busy, I think. He was in a, in a bit of a rush. Um, but uh, Brayden basically said, it's okay, just you know, like, let the match be what it is, because at this point, I feel that you had a lot of momentum, I think he said, and that, you know, uh, you could have probably have won. I think you had more of a higher chance of winning. I do feel really bad. I do apologize, Brayden, once again. It was my stupidity. My absolute stupidity. I'm sorry. That's completely on me. That's my fault. Um, but I I'll just uh, let the rest of the video play out. I just did want to note that this would have been the moment that we would have repeated the match, um, restarted the match at, you know, at normal uh, rules and normal levels, being level 50. But yeah, let's just see how this goes. Um, as you can tell, obviously, a level 100 is going to probably OK a level 50, especially if it's plus one, which it does. And uh, at this moment, right, I was thinking that shouldn't have KO'd. I didn't pay attention to the level 50. 
uh, level 100 on mine and level 50, because I, I was treating the level 50 as if it was normal. I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. But I didn't pay attention to my level 100. And um, I thought that should not have KO'd. That should have done like 60%, maybe, or something like that. And it occurs, and I'm thinking something's very, very wrong. I was double checking the calcs. I was like, that makes no sense. Even if it's no investment at all, which it wouldn't have been. Yeah, and that happened. Um, oh, I'm so sorry, Brayden. That was such a screw up on my end. Um, so he brings in his level 100 Zero Aura against my level 100 Volcarona. Bug Buzz or Fiery Dance is probably going to get the KO. Either way, because Volk's that strong and we were indeed to outspeed a Zero Aura plus one unless it was Choice Scarf. So we take out the Zero Aura and my opponent brings in the level 50 Tiantsu. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Brayden. Yeah. So, just to ensure, I was thinking, because at this point we were talking and I was saying, I'm so sorry, we'll repeat it straight away. Just like what I said right before, what I mentioned. And he's like, let's just play it out, it is what it is, and all that. So, bless him. Do not, like, I feel really bad for Brayden, he, that, that shouldn't have happened. Um, that definitely shouldn't have happened. But he's a real good guy, so I, I do apologise once again, it's completely my fault, Brayden. Um, so we bring out, in our level 100, Lando against the level 50, Diancy. If you wanted comedy, ladies and gentlemen, you found it here on this video on this channel right now. Yeah, so lefties, Diancy. Um, yeah, that's the game. Um, that's the game. Uh, he had Cryodinal in the back. But yeah, that was. That was really frustrating. Because I thought, okay, I've got a game plan, I'm going in, and then I actually noticed the level difference, I thought, I just screwed this up, didn't I? Um, so I'm annoyed that it took away from my momentum, but at, and at the same time, being completely unfair to Brayden, um, because that was. Um, bless him, good on him, once again, I do apologise. I say good on him, because I don't even know why I'm saying good on him. Uh... He should have. He should have rematched. I don't know why he didn't. Uh, I think he was just really busy at the time. I think that's what it was. Um, because I just feel guilty. I just feel full of guilt at this minute. Um, but yeah, that's the game. Once again, GG, uh, Brayden. I do apologize. I can't stop apologizing because I'm just such an idiot about this. I just pissed me off. It ir irritated me. annoyed me. Um, but yeah. You know, um, we got, we're got 2 right now in the CBDL, so we're just going to keep on pushing. Um, thank you everyone for watching. Like, subscribe, whatever. Unsubscribe, unlike, I don't mind. Um, uh, thanks for watching the video with me, and I'll catch you guys for week three. See ya.